Okay, Kathy. Yes. Let's explain what induction cooking is. Okay. Let me do this in simple terms. When you are cooking with induction, anything that's magnetic on here for the cookware, it's going to create the heat immediately in it. So all the molecules are going to vibrate like crazy, causing the heat. So instead of like with a gas or electric where it goes around the cookware, it goes directly in it. Yeah, Kathy, this is great. This is why I love induction cooking so much. Yes. It only heats the surface of the pan. Mm -hmm. I don't have wasted energy, wasted flame coming out the side. Right. Heats up really fast. It's a lot safer too. And also, mm -hmm. we have a ring in here. Let's explain what that does. All right. So in within this ring, that's where our copper coil is. So then anywhere where the cookware hits on there, that's where the induction is going to start immediately. Let's show them an example. All right. So we're going to put the pot halfway on here to show you guys how induction works. So if you want to hit max sear and start, it's going to heat up immediately in the pot, but it's not going to be heating where it's not touching. So that's cool to touch why this is already getting warm. Right, Kathy. Pull All that right. pan off. Let me show you something. All right. Let me hit pause real quick so Thank we don't you. hear the beeping. So, as you know, yes. it only heats up the part it contacted. Right. So the part of the pan, part of your PIC. Right. Now, there's residual heat right. on the cooktop. Correct. Okay? So mm -hmm. do not put your hand on there because it could still be hot. Right. And also, the part of the pan that it was contacting can also be hot, too. Right. So that way, you don't want to be touching this just in case it's been going for a long time. Right. But the beauty with induction cooking is it's going to stop immediately. It's not going to continue going like a gas oven would. Okay, Kathy, let me tell you what kind of pots and pans you can use. All right. Okay, cast mm -hmm. iron. Sure. Ceramic. And there's another easier way to tell if your pots or pans are induction ready. Let's right. show them. All right. Magnet. Wherever you have a magnet, just try it on the bottom of the cookware. If it sticks, 99.9% .9 of the time you're good to go. The only reason it wouldn't is if your magnet is stronger than the magnetic force on here. Then you would just look for the induction symbol. That's the second way to do this. And then you can find that on most of your cookware. Okay, Kathy, let's talk about the six preset buttons. Okay. My favorite. Great. Low to high. All right. So low is 100 degrees, and then when you hit max sear, that's up to 575 degrees, which is the maximum temperature. Right, Kathy, max sear, 575. Mm -hmm. It's a great button. Right. Cooking pasta, got to heat up the water really fast. Sure. No time. You can also Perfect. sear a steak, real nice crust on it, and you're ready to go. Definitely. And if you hit any of the temperatures, the six presets, and then with a simple press of the button, of the negative or positive, you can do 10 degree increments. Kathy, this is you precise cooking. You don't burn your food. It's not right. over brown. It looks beautiful. Right. So I can cook like you. Yes, you can. All right. So why don't we get going on the quick start, guys? Let's get started. All right.